Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we have with us member of Lok Sabha from Tripura, Jitain Chaudhary. We'll discuss the recent bill that has been in front of the parliament regarding what would be called citizenship. Why is it that the, shall we say, the reaction in Northeast, the Northeast, Northeastern states has been much sharper against the citizenship bill than the rest of the country? What explains this uh, division? Shall we say the sharper reaction? Actually, uh, this bill and which objective it has been conceived and if it become law and implemented, it will have far reaching impact to the culturally, economically and politically, not only the Northeast, across the country. It's against a but secular there, constitution yeah, of the country. But there, the impact would be many fold in Northeast. Why? There you know that uh, since uh, Northeastern region, the very particularly the Tripura, Assam, Meghalaya, other states also, geographically it is very close to Bangladesh and for the centuries, the uh, culturally and in other aspect that are together. So, after the partition and Tripura joined with the Indian Union in 1949, so there the, uh, what will say, migration other thing, demographically it, it has already impacted a lot. The demography has changed. Yeah, changed. In Tripura, once upon a time, the tribals were the majority. It has just outnumbered. And again, not only after 47 or 49, in the 70s, when the Bangladesh Liberation War took place, that time also, more than the population of Tripura, that number of refugees that took shelter and a sizable number of people, it is believed, not only believed, it is fact that they remain. Then after, in 1971, uh, the Indira Mujib Accord was signed that till the midnight of March 24 of 1971, whoever migrated this site or that site, they will be their citizenship will be agreed by both the nation, both the country. And similarly, uh, that thing has been accepted by the people of Northeast. And in 1985, while the Assam Accord was signed between government of India and the agitator uh, in Assam, and same that Indira Mujib Accord, it was once again agreed. 71 was the basis of yeah. the cut off date. Cut off date. Now, if the present what will say, uh, what else the uh, what the proposition has been made, the Modi government's Modi proposal. government's yeah, that uh, till 31st December 2014, whoever came and uh, that is recited here, six years they will be provided with this friendship. Though it is talked about the only the six religious group. So nationally, except the BJP, even some parties aligning with the BJP, they are also opposing because our constitution does not permit that on religious line, not only citizenship, nothing could be decided in this country. So it is totally ignoring the spirit of the constitution. It is one hand. Secondly, for the Northeast, what you ask very particularly, that if it happens, what will happen? That in Bangladesh also, there the fundamental groups are very active. They are also trying to have, that is, uh, indulge into the atrocities upon the minorities there. In Bangladesh, minorities are who are there? 
the Hindus and the Buddhist. Chakmas. Yeah, Buddhist Buddhists. there. So they will be encouraged to indulge more this kind of thing, what the RSS BCP is doing against the minorities in India. So internationally, that will the create the political crisis and more people will be attracted to come into the influx into the this region and it will have further impact to the, the socially, culturally, economically, politically in this region. So that is why the reaction of the population of the northeastern region, it is not only any particular community, entire population of the is very sharp. If we have seen from Assam to Meghalaya, various other states including Tripura now, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this resistance is growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see Meghalaya government, uh, they are one regional party, uh, they are the uh, main, uh, this is also, con this constituent of the government and BJP also aligning with them. So it's that Meghalaya government is the first government to adopt resolution in their cabinet meeting and their assembly also. Then the Mizoram government, the newly, newly elected government, they also took the resolution. In Assam, the uh, XGP, constituent of the, uh, the BJP there, the left now, the, yeah. and in Tripura, almost all the political party and social group, because the people of northeastern region, we are foreseeing that the immediate impact and how in long run it will have the far-reaching impact. So that is why the, uh, the reaction in northeast is very sharp. Much sharp. Yeah. You know, it is much sharper. You know, you talked about Tripura for instance. Yeah, yeah. Recently there were firings and clashes on yeah. this issue with the yeah, yeah. IPFT and IPFT has been a partner of the BJP yeah. in the last election. Yeah. So how is this shaping up? Well, there in Tripura you see uh, <coughs> this uh, one, uh, this uh, North Eastern Student Organization. That is one of the umbrella organization of the all student wing of the regional political parties. So when the Modi government in their cabinet took the uh, decision that it will be introduced in on 8th in the parliament, that day itself they declared the band. So in Tripura, the student wing of the IPFT, the LE of the BJP there, the coalition government, they are student wing the TSF, then the uh, student wing of the INPT, another group, another faction, and almost all other tribal youth and students group, they are directly or indirectly associated with the NASO, so they also call bond. So that day, on the Agartala Dharmanagar, Assam Agartala National Highway, they were resorting to the blockade. Block yeah. So there, see, BJP government is found so intolerant, so intolerant. They could have somehow managed it. Yes, the Tipura people, the entire nation has seen in the month of uh, July in 2017, 11 days, this IPFT they blockaded that national highway. How the left front government, the then government, they have tackled the situation. Not a single bullet was fired, not a single nutty charge, nothing happened. But that day, the BJP government, they have demonstrated their metal and six people were injured there very seriously, grievously. And not only that, and what happened, all BJP goons, they went there, attacked the people who, the students, and arson the shops and… Set fire to yeah. shops. So this are thing, so that it is just an instigation that, that does not remain within that. 
that resort to division among the people, popul the communities. Dividing the Bengali yeah. and, the, yeah, right. and the tribal so population. So, they are trying to that push that incident towards that. So, that's why it is very, very dangerous, uh, what I'll say, trend has been developed now. And the government of Tipura has been found so insensitive. BJP altogether found to be so insensitive. They are so adamant. The entire northeastern region, the state government, they are opposing. They are at least op uh, opposing, even though they are so adamant they passed the bill in the Lok Sabha. Now, you know, last question to you yeah. on this issue is that we see rising tension in the northeast. Yeah. And the fractures in the northeast have been there, but this particular bill seems to raise this temperature in northeast much more. Yeah. Do you see that the BJP, which is planning for the parliament elections, yeah. that they are basically thinking that the polarization amongst Hindus against Muslims and Christians yeah. is going to get them divided into Assam and the northeast? Do you think that's the uh, trajectory or do you think it's a larger issue of their major majoritarian politics yeah. which is coming to the front here? Maybe uh, in Northeast, according to my understanding, their gain will not be that much. Hardly they are sporadically in Tipura and Barak Valley from a smaller section they could uh, draw some sympathy on that and it may be uh, that is uh, aiming, uh, eyeing at for the next election. But I think uh, their objective is to attract the other, the larger community of the rest part of the country. Though now uh, it has been passed in the lower house since except the BJP, almost all other parties are opposing. I do not see that in near future it is, it will be passed in the Lok Sabha, in Rajya Sabha and it become a law. So then why they are so hastily brought this thing and why not? You see this JPC was constituted two years ago and during this passage of these two years, three chairmen were changed. changed and they are almost sleeping with that uh, the uh, bill and suddenly that is APC has again that is uh, almost all except the BJP, all other members they opposed and they brought it just day before they had the cabinet decision. That afternoon they brought it in the BAC, just day before the parliament the session was ending and brought it to the last day of the Lok Sabha and passed it. So, I do not see that so easily that will have the passage in the Rajya Sabha and convert into a law. So, even though knowing all this thing, all this mathematics, why they have brought it for electoral mileage only. But at the cost to the northeast yes, cost and north deepening yeah. the yeah. fractures, yeah. fissures that yeah. already yeah. Right. exist. That is really the right. price that right. Northeast will right. have to pay right. for the kind of politics the yeah. BJP yeah. is indulging in, yeah. in terms of the citizenship bill. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jitendra Chandra is to be with us. We hope to have discussions on the Northeast and on Tripura in future with you. Yeah, please. That is all the time we have for News Click today. Do keep watching News Click and our various discussions.